Alright, so global warming caused by carbon emissions has been an international topic for over 20 years. Scientists, businesses, and governments around the world take different standings toward acting on global warming. Now today, the three main issues that I'm going to cover, first, is the different approaches that vehicle manufacturers are taking on what kind of fuel that they're using on their vehicles. Second, the different standings that governments have all around the world on the Paris Agreement. If you don't know what that is, I'll get to it. And third, the different standings that a lot of companies have on what kind of energy they're using. So the first topic for vehicle manufacturers is that a lot of companies are divided on using electricity or continue, continuing to use oil because as we know oil is the main uh, issue for carbon emissions. Now countries such as Tesla believe in switching to electricity to fuel their vehicles. First of all because a lot of, uh, a lot of electricity from wind power and water power and solar power, power is clean and renewable, which means that I wouldn't be putting off those emissions into the atmosphere. Um, second, uh, second, electricity is as effective as oil in um, fueling vehicles. Third, according to fueleconomy.gov, only about 14 to 30 percent of the energy from the fuel you put in a conventional vehicle is used to move it down the road or just power its wheels depending on the drive cycle, which means that a lot of um, gasoline engines are losing 70 percent of the power that you put in there. So they're wasting 70 percent of the fuel. Now on the flip side, companies such as Ford believe in the continued use of oil, first of all, because since the cars were invented, they've used oil to fuel the vehicles, and even though it puts out a lot of emissions, there's still a lot of room to grow and to make it more efficient. Um, second off, a lot, presently, electricity, a lot of it is uh, powered through coal, it's created through coal, and coal isn't renewable, and it puts out just as many emissions as gasoline, therefore it's not just it's not the best present um, fuel to use in vehicles. Now to focus on the Paris Agreement and the positions countries take for it. Um, well, if you don't know what the Paris Agreement is, it's, a, uh, it's an agreement at the G20 summit that the African News The African News article if I can find it, states as a global commitment to promote environmental protection and mitigate the impacts of climate change. Countries such as the U.S. ratified this agreement because 55% of the carbon emission creating countries or that's all that's needed for this agreement to go into place. And the agreement will put the world on track to avoid dangerous climate change by limiting global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius, according to the EU's website. And it's due for full effect in 2020. Um, the U.S. and China have already ratified this agreement, and those are the two most carbon emission contributing countries presently, so that's already taking a big step into reducing a lot of carbon emissions if this would go in full effect. Now, the countries that don't agree with this are obviously, they aren't allied with the EU, therefore they're not going to listen to anything the EU has to say, and some countries, their economy just can't afford to take these cuts from the Paris Agreement. Now, my third topic is the standings that companies have on what kind of energies that they use for just their factories and overall economic, with their overall economy. Um, a lot of companies want to use green energy or alternative energy because it's very renewable and even though it's very costly, it would be worth 
fixing the environment. And the countries that don't want to do this want to continue using oil because that's what we've relied on for a very long time. And in conclusion, um, everything that I've went over, the vehicle manufacturers, the different standings they take, the different standings companies take, and the different standings that governments have towards the Paris Agreement all contribute to how the emissions or how global warming is being Stop used. you there. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Questions? Anything that outline like the cost to move away from oil driven vehicles um, if we would fully move over to a biofuel or to electric type of vehicles, like what kind of costs that would incur? Well, moving to electricity and biofuel is more expensive because they have to spend a lot more resources on just creating the technology for that to be effective. Uh, do you find anything that in the long term it would be a payoff versus you know, the short term? Yeah.